In the exam, we need to decide whether we can use conservation mechanical energy or not. If there are no external forces acting on the system, we can apply conservation mechanical energy. If there are external forces acting on the system, then we need to take account of the work done by any forces that are acting and the work done against any resistances and use energy considerations. tension is not acting in the direction of motion so to work out the work done by the tension we need to use the formula f cos theta multiplied by s. To calculate the change in potential energy it's mg times h where h is the vertical distance risen so here we've got 25 multiplied by the value of g 9.8 multiplied by 30 sine 5 to get that vertical distance. In part C, we need to use energy considerations. <clears throat> so the work done by the tension is equal to the increase in kinetic energy plus the increase in potential energy plus the work done against resistance. In part one, there are no external forces acting, so we can use conservation of mechanical energy. All of the energy, both potential and kinetic energy at Q, is equal to all of the energy, both potential and kinetic, at P. There is no force putting energy into the system here, and therefore by energy considerations, the kinetic energy that's been lost is equal to the potential energy that's been gained, plus the work done against friction.